The sea cucumber may sound like a vegetable that you chop into a seafood salad, but it's actually a marine animal related to the sea urchin and starfish. The lady loves sea cucumber. Judging by its appearance, it's going to be a huge challenge turning this weird creature into something my guests won't run a mile from. Helping me find out which bits taste best is marine biologist Dr Adam Hughes. Let's hope it tastes better than it looks. Okay, so what have, we, what have we got? What have we got um, here? These are Cuvarian tubercles, which are part of the gut of the animal. This is the bit the sea cucumber spits out when under attack. It looks like a cross between a spider's web and chewing gum. With a bit of Victorian grit, I'm going to have to give it a go. Recommend it. No. Next, I'm going to sample the muscular wall of the sea cucumber. This plant is particularly savoured in many countries. It's a little bit crunchy, but flavours yeah, flavours really nice, really nice. Success! The Victorians might have been onto something after all. Finally. Can I bring myself to sample the bright orange gonads of the sea cucumber? OK, certainly not tough. That's nice. Flavours, yeah, that's flavours flavor. really nice. Certainly there's two bits of that that uh, I would happily eat any day. The sea cucumber tastes great, but I've got a massive problem on my hands with its appearance. If I'm going to use this strange sea creature in my feast, I've got to find a way of drawing out its flavour, but without freaking my guests out by the way it looks. <laughs> 